There's a growing trend in NICUs across the country that's helping premature babies get home sooner. It's music therapy and it's filling hospital rooms right here in Louisville. My only sunshine. At nine weeks old, James Ellis has only known the NICU as his home. When skies are gray. Born three months early, he weighed just two pounds. How much I love you. I think he was four days old when uh, we were first allowed to hold him. Making moments like these even more precious. Coming for to carry me home. Snuggled against his mom, it's a calming environment that could put any baby to sleep. But the music filling this room holds a greater purpose. How the infant um, tolerates and processes light, sound, touch, and we're helping the baby learn how to tolerate this environment that they're now in. They shouldn't be here yet. I think he's ready to meet big sister Eliza and all of her singing. <laughs> Alex Ruffner is the NICU music therapist at Norton Women's and Children's Hospital. She's the only one in Louisville. I walk in and parents are like, w uh, I thought that was a joke. Like, <laughs> We totally thought it was a joke uh, when we went to our first care conference. But they quickly learned just how nurturing music can be. To get him to the experience that so many people take for granted of feeding him while singing to him softly and sitting in a rocking chair, um, that's a lot of <laughs> experience coming in at him at one time. But with music therapy, we got to kind of build up to that slowly so now that we can just have that really common mom and baby experience together. When skies are gray. She sticks to an easy rhythm, three chords or less with songs that are highly repetitive and then gets mom and dad to join in. Your baby does not care if you think you're a good singer or not. They love your voice no matter what, um, and they want to hear you sing. Yeah, I think he's a fan. Premature infants are really good at letting us know when they feel uncomfortable or overwhelmed. The music lasts as long as the NICU stay, improving everything from the baby's vitals and weight gain to their breathing and eating habits. It was interesting to know that music could help prepare him for so many things beyond just listening to music. With dad and big sister Eliza back home. We're, we're ready to have both kids in one place. But until then, they'll continue to sing. Tell all my friends I'm coming to. Coming for to carry me home. In Louisville, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News. And a few days after Brooke visited with James Ellis, we are so happy to say that he got to go home and he is doing great. Quick reminder.